Hello, I'm Darrell Castle. I'm an attorney licensed to practice law in the state of Tennessee. And on this video today, I want to talk to you about something that was a big article in the Memphis Business Journal just a couple of days ago. And that is that the City Council of Memphis is considering forming a blight authority. That's what they call it, a blight authority. And see, this all comes from a $7 million grant from the state of Tennessee to fight blight in our local communities. Now, the way they define blight are, that would be communities that uh, have a lot of homes that have been abandoned, just sitting there empty, run down, no one caring for them, businesses that have left and abandoned buildings, those types of things they describe as blight. So what they propose to do is form a nonprofit authority here in the city of Memphis to take some of the state money and buy up blighted properties, buy up homes that have been abandoned, businesses that have been abandoned, and bulldoze them and make parks and green areas and things like that. Well, this same idea was tried in Detroit a few years ago, and what they ended up with was a bunch of uh, uh, bulldozed areas that become breeding grounds for drug criminals and things like that. So I have a different view that maybe the city might want to consider, and that is that here in my bankruptcy office, I see people that live in neighborhoods like this every single day that come in and see me, and I know what some of their problems is, and that some of their problems are the fact that they don't have jobs. They can't afford to keep their homes because they don't have jobs. A lot of times these homes are of such small value that the person owns the home outright and can't pay the property tax on it. Why not use some of that $7 million and lower the property tax to zero in blighted areas and see what happens? I bet people could keep their homes. I bet people would actually buy homes because there's no tax on it. That would be one idea. Another idea is it's very expensive to shop in neighborhoods like we're talking about. People shop in convenience stores, things like that. Why not reduce the sales tax to zero in some of these blighted neighborhoods so that uh, businesses will relocate there because they don't have to charge sales tax. People will shop there. People will come in from outside the blighted area. All of a sudden, legitimate businesses that actually hire people might be moving in. Those are two things. But folks, no matter what neighborhood you live in, if you have debt that you can't pay, that you feel like is pulling you down, debt that's keeping you from being able to remain in your home and live a normal life, I'd love to talk with you about that. Call me for a free appointment. You'll be glad you did.